Hi, this is Arif Irfanullah and in this brief clip I want to share some thoughts with candidates who took the CFA exam in June 2017. Now first I'm talking to all candidates, level 1, level 2, level 3. It's been approximately a month since you took the exam. I hope that you have enjoyed your time off from CFA studies and for level 1 and 2 candidates the result will be coming out in late July. I hope you do well so that you can move on to the next level. For level 3 candidates the result will come out a little later. This is because your written content takes longer to grade. Here again I hope that you do well, that you pass the exam and then you move on to get your charter once your work experience is done. With level 2 candidates you will be thinking about doing level 3 in June 2018. So I just want to give you a heads up on what to expect at level 3. With level 2 there was a lot of focus on calculations. At level 3 the focus moves towards application. So you start applying the concepts that you learn at level 2. For example at level 2 you learn about the IPS, you learn about various aspects of portfolio management but at level 3 you actually need to create the IPS and creating the IPS involves doing return calculations, determining the risk tolerance of your clients and so on. So you need to be able to do this and effectively create the IPS for your client. A lot of people say that level 2 is the hardest exam and level 3 becomes easier. To some extent that is true in the sense that the calculations at level 2 are harder than the calculations at level 3. But I would argue that the fact that you need to apply several concepts at level 3 and you also need to come up with your own written responses makes level 3 harder than level 2. And also only 50% of the people pass the level 3 exam. So these are people who have already cleared level 2 and those who are potentially taking level 3 again and 50% of them are failing. So that means that level 3 can't be that easy. And therefore overall I'd say level 3 is harder and therefore you need to study longer and study harder for level 3 than you did for level 2. Now candidates who took the level 1 exam and now are thinking of level 2. Here again I feel that level 2 is harder than level 1. There is, as I mentioned before, a lot more calculation in level 2 relative to level 1. It's the same 10 topics at level 2 but we dive a lot deeper. Just as an example, at level 1 we study the basics of forward contracts, futures and so on but at level 2 we dive deeper into how to calculate the value as well as the price of forward contracts. And then the same idea applies across different topics where we are studying the same material but in a lot more detail. Now coming to how IFT can help you. We have an early bird offer for level 1 students who are moving on to level 2. You can buy now and get a 15% discount. If you avail our early bird offer you will receive the 2017 package now and that is because the 2018 material has not been released. This will be released by the CFA Institute towards the end of July. Now if you start studying now I recommend that you start with financial reporting and analysis. This is because level 2 FRA nicely takes off from where you left FRA at level 1 and also FRA is foundation material that will help you with other topics such as equity analysis. Furthermore, if you happen to fail the level 1 exam, then next time around the level 1 exam will be a little easier if you've already spent some time studying level 2 FRA. In terms of IFT content, the updated 2018 videos and notes will be released by 1st August. Our updated question bank will be released by the end of August and the updated quizzes will be released by the end of September. For level 3 we also have an early bird offer. This is good for candidates who have taken the level 2 exam but want to get a head start on level 3. Here there is a 15% discount. You will receive the 2017 package immediately. 
and that suggests that with level 3 you start with the individual IPS I think this topic is extremely interesting and even if you don't pass the level 2 exam if you've studied the basics of individual IPS this will help you with level 2 when you do it again with respect to IFT material the updated level 3 videos and notes will be released between August and October and the updated quizzes will be released by 30th September so these are the early bird offers they make sense for people who want to start early and if you had trouble with the previous level then I would encourage you to start early this will definitely increase your chances of passing the exam in June 2018 so best of luck and again your results will be coming out soon and I hope that you pass and continue on your CFA journey. Best of luck and bye bye for now.